and welcome back to another Feltaholics tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to go over some wool and the types of wool <clears throat> and what's good and bad in my opinion of it. Now recently, you might have seen some posts, but I threw caution to the wind and bought some wool from Timu. And this is what I got. Now, it is synthetic. Now, synthetic wool is called vegan wool. And I can't even say this is good synthetic wool. This is, I'm sorry, it's garbage. I've seen some posts that say it's beautiful or oh, it's fantastic. But this stuff is, I'm sorry, I just, I'm disgusted with it. It's crap. And it creaks and it actually feels like recycled plastic and it's not even good synthetic it's it's really it's terrible now <clears throat> i ordered a pound of core wool and a half pound of white they are exactly the same thing and not only that i didn't even get a full pound it's not even a half a pound but trust me on it, I mean, they're exactly the same thing. Coral wool is not the same thing as roving. Now, what will happen with this is it will come apart. So you can felt this all day long and it will come undone. Oliver's decided to join us, but it will come apart. He thought the window was open. It's winter, Ollie. <laughs> But yes, it will come apart. And to test this, you can put this in a bow or a knot and just leave it and it will come undone. Terrible stuff. And I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. And this stuff is actually going back. See, even Oliver, who knows his wool, no doubt, if he could talk, he could give you a lesson. <laughs> but yeah, it's no good. And actually, all the, the cats don't like it. Hop down, Ollie. Yeah, a boy. Now, lessons learned. Don't order wool from Timu. And it actually says... 100% real wool on it, which is, well, that's false advertising. So, real good synthetic wool, and I have a huge bag here. This is good synthetic wool. It has a nicer feel to it. It certainly doesn't creak or squeak when you do this <clears throat> to it. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergies again, everybody. And this felts very nicely and it does not come apart. So this is good synthetic wool. And it is soft. Now, this is what I assumed that they would send me. This is Coriadale Real Wool. And you can see the texture is so much better and so much different. Like this is like string and this is wool. You yeah, see. And of course, this stuff is excellent to felt with. I used to felt with Dorset. But I felt with Coria Dale now. 100%. Like I said, you can even see the difference. And again, I said core wool, and it's exactly the same thing. So. The two types of core, uh, core wool that I have, well, you, it can come in bats, 
<clears throat> or strips called roving. So this is the type, as you know, that I like to use because it's like a cloud and it's fluffy. And it, it felt excellent. And the other type of core wool is a bit more coarse. It's a bit more stringy, but it is core wool. I know people like to call this garbage wool because it's like the leftovers. But it's not garbage to me because it felt excellent for your base. But this is the two types of core wool. Like this one is more coarse. And if something is more coarse, it felt faster because of the scales within the hair make it more coarse and it's easier to felt with. But that's the two types of core wool. And it's excellent for wrapping. And again, telling me that this is real wool or core wool, that's, it's nonsense. And you, you couldn't even spin with this properly because it will break. Look at this. And it's wispy. And it's just, it really is terrible. Now, secondly, apparently, because I'm a glutton for punishment, I ordered a kit. I've only ever, I've only ever ordered um, <clears throat> two kits. The, the first one I, little one I ever did, the first needle felting project that I had ever done was from a little tiny kit. And then this one and another one. Just to try out kits. So this also came from Timu. So. Let's look at this felted sheet. It's not real felt either and it has like a plastic coating over it I mean I don't know what that is that's that's terrible the picture is very nice and everything but it's it, it's not good and what you see back here is an actual felt sheet and you can see it, there's no coating on it. There's, it's a nice felt seat. And these, so in the kits that I sell, they're not compacted that way in layers. And it's foam and it doesn't, it's not good foam. So you get that picture, and I don't know if you can see that it's more of a 3D picture than a 2D picture, where the face sticks up. You get these instructions that don't tell you how to build the face up. A very flimsy, cheap plastic hoop. And again, with this terrible synthetic fake wool I mean I wouldn't even consider it synthetic I mean like I said it's terrible I would even suggest this for first time users because it's going to come apart and if you don't know the difference between real wool synthetic wool and garbage wool you might not want to ever needle felt again but it will come apart and it will degrade. But again, lesson learned and that's what I'm here for. Oh, and let's have a look at the needles. So. When I first looked at these, I thought these were the basic needles you get in any kit, but they're not. Again, they're a cheap imitation, and I don't know if you can see the very tip. They're already starting to rust. 
So usually what happens is they'll have a coat on them of some oil so this doesn't happen because they are stainless steel and depending on the needle they may have a mix of alloys in them and this it's already starting to rust and the faster it rusts the cheaper the needle actually is and we've got a couple of needles here and they're all the same and you don't want to be putting rust into your project and it's always better to buy from your local farmers wool supplier like places like Etsy who are local to you depending on where you're at uh, my wool comes from British Columbia so it is Canadian 100% wool and the descriptions are fabulous and I've never ever had a problem with any of the wool that I get also my needle supplier is fantastic so I hope that I've been able to educate you on the types of wool and we'll do a bit longer video the next time but definitely buy local or as local as you can get and it helps support other small businesses as well thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time